Welcome to my channel, Mika Creates. Hola familia, thanks for watching. Um, today I'm going to be eating some colossal shrimp and some Dungeness crab along with dash sauce. So I tried his sauce, I wanted to see if it was good and I haven't tried it as of yet so I wanted to try it here while making the video. And then I also am eating, I didn't make any veggies, it's all protein today, well except for my rice of course. but. Um, I've never had white kimchi, so I bought this big old thing of white kimchi, and I've had that. Um, I just had it a couple of days ago, and I love it. It's not spicy, but it's super good. So I have that in here, and then of course I have my white rice, and then I've got the dash sauce. There it is. So, and here is my seafood. Um, I've got my little dumper. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right, let's try. Let's try this. Uh, the shrimp. It has the peel on it, but I'm gonna suck it off. Mmm. Sauce is good. It's a little sweet for me, but it's good. Mm. I think it's the sweet chili. Mm. I think it's Kroger. Kroger has the knockoff brand. And it's called sweet chili Thai, or Thai sweet chili, I'm sorry. Mmm. So, this weekend, I had a conversation with my goddaughter. Ah. Uh, we had a couple conversations. Shout out to my goddaughter, Emmy. I love you, Emmy. Anyway, I want some of this onion. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so hungry. Mm. So anyway, Emmy and I were having a chat because whoa, that's good. Mm. I like the sauce a little bit savory. It's a little sweet, but it's delicious. And I think I'd like to add some Old Bay. I added the Creole Cajun, Cajun seasoning, but a little bit of Old Bay I think would give up that savory, sweet savory kind of thing. That's really good though. Very, very good. Um, so her, one of her friends invited her over, um, after school, I guess there was like a, a fight. So two boys were fighting. I just want I just want to hear what you guys think. But two boys were fighting in her junior high school or middle school. Um, she didn't know about it. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord Jesus. Oh. Thank you, Lord, for my job that I could buy this food. Whoa, I'm not even playing. This is so good. Yeah, this sauce is really good with the Dungeness. Oh, man. Takes it to a whole nother level. Jeez Louise. Uh, so her friend, you heard about this fight, and they were right down the way from it. So she asked her if she wanted to go over there and see it. So they ran over there. And these two boys were fighting and um and so she showed me the fight on the video she actually recorded it and so i said what did you do when you saw the fight and she's like nothing we just watched the fight and i said 
Did you call for help? Did you tell somebody? Did you try and break it up? Like, and I know that she's a kid, but it just shows me how far we are as a wave, you know, uh, how far we are in society. Like how desensitized we are that here are these school kids and they're recording this fight and not doing anything about it, like absolutely nothing. So, we talked about like consequences, like how would you feel, God forbid, but if one of those kids was, they were fighting and one of them, you know, slammed the other one against the the concrete and cracked his head open and he was like in a coma or something and then he ended up passing away. Like how would you feel? Because you didn't do anything about it. And she said, well I would feel bad. And she says, but I don't want to be the one to go and tell the principal or call for help. And uh, I don't know, it just kind of really made me sad. And I say that because years ago, back in the day when I was drinking, when I was drinking, I was drinking, uh, I left a club, the Red Onion in West Covina. It's not there now, but anyway, I left the club. And down the street was a 7-Eleven. I went to 7-Eleven. I used to smoke at this time to go get a pack of cigarettes so I could smoke on my way home. And um, outside of the door, I literally pulled straight up into 7-Eleven. And outside of the door was this guy. And he was beating the holy bejeebies out of his girlfriend or wife or I don't know. So there's two doors. Two glass doors to walk into pretty much every 7-Eleven, I think. Um, literally, he's on, let's say, the right side of the glass door, beating her up, and people are walking in, men too, are walking in on the left side of the door as if they don't see anything happening. Which, uh, just, I don't even know how to explain it. shocks me. So I pulled up, I called 911. I got out of the car. I answered all the questions. They wanted me to stay on the phone, but this guy was just tearing this girl up. I'm like, hey, get off of her. And people are like, oh, you know, you could have got hurt and this and this and that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it wasn't the smartest thing to do, but to sit there and not act is not the right thing to do for me. So, when I see those videos of like people helping other people, I mean, I love it and I wish that there was like positive TV or something. And I know it may sound like I live in a fairy tale, but I'm serious. Like, those people should be awarded or. Because uh, just more and more and more, like, our kids aren't standing up when things are wrong. You know, nobody wants to say anything. Nobody wants to be the quote-unquote snitch. You know, run over to the office and tell the office that two boys are fighting. Because they'd be the snitch, you know, which is not true. But whatever. That is so good, you guys. That is so good. But so it just really hurt my heart. What do you guys think about that? I want to give a shout out to my cousin Chai. Hi Chai! What do you think about that Chai? Oh I know she has a lot to say about it. She's got kids and a mountain. If it was your daughter getting beat up, would you want people to just walk in, pass by as if 
They don't see anything happening. Because I'll tell you what. Mm. If that was me or my son or daughter, or my grandma, I would want people to help. So are you the helping kind or are you the, <clears throat> what kind of person are you? The one that calls 911 and flees the scene? 911 and stays? 911 and takes action to try and stop whatever's going on? Are you the person that just takes off, don't, it's none of your business? You guys, this is the bomb. Bombdiggity.com. Bombdiggity.com. Mm -hmm. mm. The sauce is bomb. There's the dash sauce. It goes so well with Dungeness crab. Just saying the gente. Talking about mi gente. Jayla. My fellow Boricua got engaged not too long ago. Alex Rodriguez. The baseball player. By the way, go Dodgers. Been a Dodger fan since I was a kid. I used to live in Highland Park. So we used to go to the Dodger games all the time. <laughs> Put it this way, we used to listen to the Dodger game in the car. When we weren't at the game and we're in the car, we even listened to it on the radio. I still do to this day, which is kind of a trip. Born and raised blue. And I live by Angel Stadium. Go figure. Like, I live so close that the traffic affects me. Like, I live so close to Angel Stadium that I can see the A. So there's a big red A and I put an L in front of it and you see the A. <laughs> The only time you see me in the Angel Stadium is when the Dodgers are playing them. Look at this. Holy moly. Holy moly. I should have done an ASMR. I still need a... A microphone for that. Mm. 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 It was so good. I 
the sweetness of the sauce is growing on me. That sure is. Look at this. This is so good. I had to wear like a t-shirt they don't care about because every time I do seafood boils I mess up my good shirts. Give me a thumbs up if it happens to you too. <laughs> I know I'm stuck in my fingers. This is just how it goes. Hmm. Turn my cup. This scrimp, and I'm gonna put it in the sauce. Chris Judge and his crab. I got it from Walmart. It was a pound for 16. 94 or something like that. The good thing is, hmm? say my name, say my name. Mm. Um, is that it's not the body, it's just the legs. I don't ever eat the body. I know um, for Thai cuisine, it's good because you can put the rice in there. I've seen a couple of videos like that. Where they keep the juice of the, of the uh, body of the crowd. I'm gonna put the rice in there, I'm gonna mix it. It looks good, but I don't know. Never tried it. But I'm down, I'm down with the legs, down with the legs. I feel so bad for people who have allergies or allergic to seafood. My friend Rosie. Shout out to Rosie. Rosie. She's allergic to scramps and crab. And she used to love shrimp. She was able to eat it and then all of a sudden one day she just couldn't. Not a trip. It's like, what happened? What caused that? All of a sudden just an allergic reaction. Just to let you guys know if you haven't eaten Dutch and his crab. You don't need a cracker. The shell is soft. Mm. You can just open it with your fingers. Yeah. Cracker or an opener may make it easier, but I'm not interested. I like doing everything with my hands. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm drinking soda water. It has a hint of peach. It's not sweet at all. It has a hint of peach. If you guys have been watching me for a minute, you guys know I love me some white rice. I love rice. I 
couple of Puerto Rican rice, fried rice, Mexican rice, or Spanish rice, paella. Mm -hmm. Or pearl rice, jasmine rice. Mm -hmm. The claw. See what we get out of here. Anyway, my goddaughter and I were also talking about bullying. And how, you know, if you're a bully, it's just false power. You do it because it's false power. It makes you feel powerful in that moment because you dominate the other person just for that moment. And how you can start to dominate them completely if they start thinking about you all the time or scared to go to school because they think they're going to bump into you. Or yes, boo, see that? Mm. Look at that. So. False power is temporary, um, and the person who's the bully, who does the bullying, and the truth most of the time is they don't feel good about themselves. That's my thought. You know, maybe they have troubles at home, or maybe they're meant to feel little. You know by their parents, or they weren't wanted, or they didn't have friends, or they have a hard time making friends. So, I hope she becomes the girl who, when she sees somebody is being bullied, she befriends the person who's being bullied. You know, kind of brings them into the group so they're not hanging out by themselves anymore. Sad. And we talked about how people, you know, end up killing themselves because of bullying. Anyway, all kinds of heavy stuff today. Oh, Lord. just truth, just truth. So you guys all know that I love Ricky Martin. Or if you don't know, well now you know. I love Ricky Martin. And uh, so he played the lover of Versace on the miniseries um, of the murder of Versace. Gianni Versace. And so I watched the whole thing. Boy. That guy crazy. Wow. From what I understood from the story, you know, this craziness did not come by himself. His dad was local. And um, the scenes insinuate that the dad was molesting the son. And it, the dad had a weird way, dad is Filipino, and he had a weird way of looking at Americans in America and having this obsession to live the American dream and be a millionaire. And so, the mom 
seemed like she had some morals and principles. The dad was just crazy, man. And he was always seeking the dollar, you know, and belittling the mom. And the son would always see that. And so he grew up in this really weird way. Anyway, um, he had this obsession with Gianni Versace. And for whatever reason, I don't know where I was during the time, but I remember when that happened. Oh, it was so good. That sauce is jamming. Mm -hmm. That sauce has grown on me. Anyway, um, so I never really followed it, or if I did, I don't remember. But that guy ended up killing, it wasn't just Versace, but he ended up killing a whole bunch of people along the way. Before he got to Versace, Versace was the last person that he killed. I mean, this guy was just crazy. Man. I mean, off his freaking rocker, for real, for real. Look at this. I want some of that. Let's dip it in here. Oh, for you? No, for me. <laughs> Mmm. 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 -mm. And, um, he was just a trip, super intelligent kid. Made some bad, bad mistakes. And then I was talking to one of my girlfriends. And she just said that she said, oh, she was watching the Ted Bundy. They have like this, it's not a mini series. Look at that, you guys. Let's get some more of this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I wish you guys could have, okay, this bite's for you. This bite's for you. See that? off his rocker. He was a smart kid. Entitled. His dad was successful until he got caught. He was trying to, the dad was trying to climb the corporate ladder. Did a whole bunch of, um, oh wait, wasn't I on Ted Bundy? See so yeah, mm -mm. I already finished with the Versace guy. So my friend Ashley, shout out to Ashley. She was telling me that she had seen like, I'd watched the Ted Bundy movie by um, Efron, Zach Efron. He played the main character, so I just watched it on Netflix, I think, or something like that. Um, they had like interviews of him on a different show. They had interviews of um, Ted Bundy, a reporter. Met with him after he was going to be on Dead Row. And Ted Bundy ended up telling him what had happened. And he finally confessed that he had killed over 30 women, possibly I think 36 or something like that. So two serial killers, super intelligent,
Charismatic. Wanted to fit in. Both of them wanted to fit in. And just quite couldn't fit in, you know. Anyway, if you don't know, Ted Bundy got executed. And the other kid, I don't know, Philip something. Maybe it's not Philip. I can't remember what his name is. I think he's still in jail. All these killings. I'm going to put this one in the sauce again. I really like the colossal shrimp in the sauce. So, I was talking to my friend Ashley. She said that she saw it at night. Really? Really, Ashley. You know you don't watch that stuff at night? Who watches that stuff at night? You have nightmares, you're scared, you're tripping out. Every noise you hear, you're thinking somebody's gonna come get you. Mm -mm. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. No, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you. Mm. I think I like this setup. I hope the video comes out clear. I could see a shadow behind me. Mm. I know I take forever to eat. Ooh. I'm gonna crack this one up and see if we can do a whole piece. Let's see, I broke it open. Perhaps, perhaps my friends, perhaps. What else is going on in the world? Oh, the Royals. The Royals had their baby. A little boy. Oh man, I pray that little boy. It's just a joy to the nation and brings a lot of joy to parents, family. Yep. Princess Diana, she would have been a G-ma. She would have been a G-ma. And what a G-ma she would have been, huh? That's sad. Look at, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. See Lola? That's her tail. She's watching me eat. Hoping that I drop something. Hi Lola. Huh. Are you watching me eat? Hmm? That's her little nose. You see it? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> she sat down. I was hoping she was going to get in the camera. 
And then over here, you see pinch to the left of me? Right there, that brown thing. And that's him. It's my little boy. I've had him for 12 years. I had him for a year before I got sober. He'll be 13 in October. I pray that, oh, God, that Jesus would just keep him forever. All right, I'm going to try and get this whole piece again. Definitely gonna get this one. Definitely. Got a shadow of a doubt. Mm, mm, mm. Here it is. There's the prize. I'm pulling it out. There it is, you guys. Yes. Yeah. I have some muscles. Just off of talking with muscles too. Mm -hmm. I guess they named the baby Archie. I don't know. I guess it has to be like a formal name or something. Poor baby. Archie. I hope nobody makes fun of him. Some people may like that name. I think For most of us, if you're around my age, it reminds you of Archie Bunker, which we never saw at my, in my house. My dad would not allow us to see it. It was really racy. Back in the day, you can get away with that kind of stuff. Not today, boo, not today. We watched the Jeffersons in my house. And um, what was it called? That TV show with a rerun? What's happening? Mm -hmm. All right, my colossal. I feel like I have it all over me. This sauce is good. Okay. I can't compare it to Be Lovely sauce because it's a different sauce. Yes, it's a better sauce, but 
So it's a really sweet sauce. I mean, this is really sweet. B Loves has a hint of sweet. Hers is saltier and has, um, I think it's more flavorful. I don't think it's better, I just think it's more flavorful. Today is the finale of Game of Thrones. And my friend Peggy, shout out to Peggy. She's having a big old party. Now I'm probably the only person on earth that hasn't seen it. I don't have a lot of TV time. And uh, but she's having this big old party, and people are dressing up, I guess. I don't know. Is it like Halloween? I have no idea. But I'm assuming they're dressing up in characters. And she's got a whole bunch of games and quizzes. So today's the big finale. I think the whole series ended is ending tonight. have added a little bit more heat but I didn't try it when I was cooking because it's my first time having it so I wanted to make sure that uh, I wanted to make sure that I tried it ooh, with you guys I wanted my honest reaction. I wanted you guys to see my honest reaction. It's really good. If you're into sweet sauces, this is definitely the go-to. Definitely. back to the Royals. I think it was a trip. About like 18 or 24 hours after she had the baby. She had to present the baby to the world. I guess that's part of the deal. I'm like, dang, she's got to put full blown makeup on. and I'm sure she was tired pushing that little guy out. But she did. She presented that little baby to the world. Oh, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West had a little baby. And I think it was a boy. And I think it was reported that his name is Psalm, as in like Psalms in the Bible. Psalm West. Whatever floats your boat. If we use the names Matthew and David. Why not Psalm? The Song of Psalms. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Did you guys see that piece I didn't even show you? I'm sorry. 
That was good. I'm all in it. Look at this. Dead bodies. Dead bodies everywhere. Don't hit me, gente. I'm full. Thank you for watching. Please hit that notification bell. That little bell is a notification to let you know. It notifies you every single time I have a video. I upload a video, a new one. So hit that. Please subscribe and share it with all your friends and family. And um, I love to do this. And if you're having dinner by yourself, I hope that you enjoyed having dinner with me. And uh, until the next video, see you later. I love you, Famiga. Thanks for your support. Bye. This is so good. Mm. It's not. Yeah, it's a different sauce. Welcome to my channel, Mika Creates. Hola, familia. <laughs> and uh, until next time, adios, familia. <laughs>